everybody, and if you see my boyfriend in the background or hear him, he's playing video games with his friends and he's going to be loud and annoying. But <laughs> I wanted to do a little haul. I've never done a haul on this video before or on this channel before, but I went shopping because I'm really excited for Halloween and got some Halloween stuff. Halloween. And uh, I did get some stuff for my costume, so I kind of wanted to show that, but I got other stuff too. Alrighty, first I went to Joann's. Who doesn't love Joann's? And I'm, I'm crafty, but I'm not very good at it, so I got not very crafty things that were already done. Woohoo! Um, first things I got are cookie cutters, because I made the most delicious peanut butter cookies the other day, and Ian ate them all, and now I have to make more. But I don't think peanut butter cookies are the best for cookie cutters, so I might make some type of sugar cookie that is gluten-free so Ian can eat them. Oh, and dairy. Yeah, he can't have dairy. Or chocolate. So, they're going to be super limited cookies. But the first shape is a bat. And I like bats. I think bats are cute. And they're going to be very large cookies. <laughs> Which is good. I like big cookies. It also had a ghost. Ghosty, a kitty cat, and a pumpkin. And those were my favorite set. There was a button, there was like other ones that had like a bunch of other stuff, but I didn't need them. My favorite thing that I got from Joann's is this. I'm going to a Halloween party at a friend's house, and I'm sure there's going to be drinking there. And I hate solo cups, and I hate like when people just give me regular glasses and I never know which one is mine. This one will definitely, I will definitely know it is mine. And it says Witch's Brew on it. I know it's backwards. And it's a mason jar with a cute little swirly straw. And I'm really excited about it. And then I got this jar, which is like purple and it has like patches missing in it. And it has a skull and crossbones on it. And I'm going to put a candle in it. So when it lights you can kind of see the candle light through the speckles that are miss missing in the paint there i think you might be able to see that there and i think that's all i got from joann's i think and then i went to michael's which is conveniently right across the street and the most exciting thing that i got from there is this my cat is going to be a triceratops for christmas for christmas halloween for halloween i guess i could make her a triceratops for christmas every day and now I have a dinosaur and I have a cat. There was a shark one that I really liked, but it only had medium and large, and this one is in small. So I got her the purple dinosaur. I don't think she's going to wear it for long, but she's going to be super cute in it when she does wear it, or super annoyed, probably the latter. And what else did I get? I collect cameos, and when I saw this little group of cameos, I thought they were super cute. I specifically like the skeleton ladies. Um, I know that's like a really popular one for necklaces and stuff, but I liked this one because it was cheap -er from the necklaces that I've seen. It also has like a sugar skull, skull and crossbones, and just a regular skull. So, yeah, I'm really excited about that. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Probably make a necklace out of a couple of them. Who knows? Who knows? Not to I. I don't know. Let's see what else did I get. Did I put it? Oh. And Martha Stewart has these cool test tubes, like plastic or glass, I'm not sure which they were, but they like look like chemistry test tubes, but they didn't come with anything to hold them in, and they were like $12, and so I was like, I don't really know what I'll use these for, but then I saw these, and they're kind of like, they're not chemistry at all really, but they're kind of cool looking, and these have flat bottoms, so I don't need anything to hold them in. And, um, I'm going to put glitter in them and maybe put labels on them later on down the road. So, glitter, yeah, I had to get that. So I got this fun variety pack. It comes with m bunches of colors. Um, for Halloween, though, I'm probably going to just use purple, orange, and green. That seems like the most Halloween colors to me to put in the little vials, and I'll just have them somewhere, somewhere, I don't know, I don't really know where I'm going to put them, and then 
So this is a little hint to what I'm going to be doing for Halloween. I got blue, light blue face paint. Um, and this is just watercolor paint. Um, it's came in this packaging. And I'm going to test this out later today. Maybe I'll film that too, see how that goes. But this, I got this because I want to be a certain character for Halloween, which I hinted at last video. Um, but I'm not going to say who yet. And for that, I just bought a little set of paintbrushes because I didn't want to use an actual foundation brush because I'm cool like that. Oh, so this isn't from Michael's, this was from Joanne's, but Joanne's had like a bunch of cool little decorative pumpkins. They were buy two, get one free, but I only got this one because the one I wanted was like $26 and I didn't want to spend $26 on a fake pumpkin. So I just got a cute little one that was like $6 and I really, really liked it. The one I wanted was like orange with black polka dots that were all glittery, but this one's cute too and I will find a place for it somewhere in my home. Right now it's just chilling on my desk. But yeah, that's all I got for from Joann's and Michael's. I just wanted to do a little quick haul. Um, look, I may post a video of me trying out the snake's paint. Maybe. I don't know. It depends on how well it comes out. But look out for it. And then also keep posted on my social media to find out what I'm going to be doing for Halloween. I might be posting hints or even full-blown pictures. Who knows? All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.